Martinville woman is demanding answers after her sister, who was staying in a group home in Alexandria, died in their care. Police have said they are investigating this case as a homicide, but as Chris Welty found out, there are still no arrests six months later. KTC investigates. She was quiet, but loved to be around family, loved to be around her siblings, her nieces and nephews, very playful, childlike. This is a more recent one of her at the facility. One of the workers actually sent me this picture on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Danielle Lee's sister, Graceland County, battled mental illness since she was a teen. For the last 10 years, she lived at a group home, Westside Habilitation Center in Alexandria. She had got diagnosed with mild schizophrenia and stuff and hear voices and things like that. At times, Lee's sister, Gracelyn, would have to be restrained. She was put in multiple restraints in the past, so I feel like they knew the proper way to restrain her. But on January 1st this year, Lee received a call from Westside saying her sister was at Rapids Regional Medical Center. Lee says a Westside employee told her her sister passed out at the dinner table and that doctors were working on her. Shortly after, Lee received a call from the hospital. His words was, she was dead on arrival. Doctors ordered an autopsy on 37-year-old Graceland. It's puzzling to me because once I got the cause of death, which was due to the manual restraint, I'm like, okay, so did she die over there? So y'all moved her body and she wasn't breathing or did she have a heartbeat on the way to, you know, it's just a lot of unanswered questions that they just still dodging. The coroner's report says Graceland died from compressional asphyxia due to manual restraint. Lee says once the coroner ruled her sister's death a homicide, employees at Westside Habilitation Center changed their story. Originally, Lee was told her sister passed out at the dinner table, but now she says employees tell her Graceland was in an altercation with the Habilitation Center employee over a cup of water and became unresponsive. Y'all don't have to lie or try to cover up anything. If it happened and, you know, even if it was an accident, if it happened, it happened and she's, we can't take it back, but at least be truthful, you know. KTC investigates obtained the initial police report. Records show 911 was called and an ambulance was dispatched to bring Graceland to the hospital. And I feel like they wasn't, they was just willing to just go to their grave with this like a, a little secret, you know. The Lee family says Westside has reached out to settle this case. We also reached out to Westside and its attorney who had no comment. I really want whoever did, whoever responsible for it to be charged, but I want the facility to be held to some kind of accountability because it was y'all facility and it was y'all workers and you know, y'all workers supposed to be trained to deal with clients. Now Lee says it's her mission to find justice. Even though she was the big sister in age, I was always like the big sister to her and my brother, you know, she looked up to me, you know, as a big sister, as you know, a protector and I just you know, and I, I know she's smiling down and she know that her sister is going to get to the bottom of it, you know. In Alexandria, Chris Walty, KETC TV3. When we asked the district attorney's office in Rapides Parish about the case, they said they couldn't comment, but did say they'd be convening a grand jury soon. The coroner wouldn't confirm records in the report given to us by family members saying Louisiana law prevents them from re releasing that information. Our investigative team also has a pending records request with the Louisiana Department of Health on any complaints or investigations regarding the center. We'll keep you updated with the information as we get it.